kids, it's Teacher Jess, and I'm back again this week with another bedtime story. Today, we're going to be reading Coconut Comes to School by Burley Doherty. But first, I need a couple of things. You know the drill. We gotta get our pajamas on, we gotta brush our teeth, and you can get one of your favorite blankets or stuffed animals to join the story. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. Coconut Comes to School. Coconut comes to school every day. She lives at the other side of the woods in a field full of bobbing rabbits and badger tracks. And she comes to school with Mrs. Pie. Hee-haw! Coconut's hooves snap twigs in the bluebell woods. The squirrels peer from trees. In the school across the fields, the children are listening. Hee-haw! Coconut trots through the dewy wet grass. Mice shiver their whiskers. In the classroom, the children whisper, She's coming! Coconut's coming! Hee-haw! Coconut scrambles across the ditch. The children smile at each other. She's coming! Coconut's coming! Can you see Coconut coming through the window? Hee-haw! Coconut canters across the school meadow. Her hooves go trip-trop, trip-trop. Her ears go flip-flap, flip-flap. Her tail goes swish as she flicks the flies. Swish, swoosh, swish, swoosh. She's here! Coconut's here! The children laugh. Mrs. Pie runs behind Coconut. Her face is full of smiles. She goes to the kitchen and gets down her pots and pans. Coconut puts her long nose through the classroom window. Hee-haw! Hee-haw! Her eyes are brown like chestnuts. Her hair is dark like the bark of trees and rough as a brush to touch. Her lips go slip, slop, slap. Hello, Coconut, the children call. But Mr. Clapper, the teacher, shouts, Go away, Coconut! Go back home! Donkeys can't come to school! Coconut backs away and lowers her head. Flip flop, her long ears flap. Swish swoosh, her long tail swings. Mr. Clapper tries to shoo her away. Go on! Go back home, he shouts. But Coconut munches the grass and swings her head this way and that way. Donkeys can't come to school, Mr. Clapper tells Mrs. Pie. Don't bring her again. Mrs. Pie smiles in the steamy kitchen that smells of apples and jam. The children love Coconut, she says, and Coconut loves them. Well, I don't love her, Mr. Clapper says. I don't love her one bit. Coconut must go. The next day, he thinks of a plan to make Coconut go away. He comes to school with a bag of carrots tucked under one arm and a rope in his pocket. He hides them in his desk. While the children are eating their dinner, Mr. Clapper creeps over to where Coconut is munching the grass. Here you are, Coconut, says Mr. Clapper. Juicy carrot. Coconut sniffs at the carrot and chomps her teeth. Mr. Clapper steps back and dangles the carrot in the air. Coconut steps forward. Sniff goes her nose. Chomp goes her teeth. Follow me, Coconut. Follow me, says Mr. Clapper. You can have all the carrots you want. I'll tie you to a tree in the Bluebell Woods and you can wait for Mrs. Pie to come home. What a happy donkey you'll be, watching the squirrels play and eating those carrots all day long. He holds up the carrot again. Coconut steps forward. Sniff, chomp. Can you see?
Mr. Clapper steps back. Juicy carrot, juicy carrot, he says. Sniff, chomp. And so they go on over the meadow of buttercups and daisies. Mr. Clapper wa walks backwards. Juicy carrot, juicy carrot. Coconut ambles after him. Sniff, chomp. But oh, the ditch! Mr. Clapper tumbles down into it. Toes over nose. The carrots fly this way and that like a shower of golden fish. And there he lies with his eyes closed tight. Help, he shouts. Oh, my poor foot. Oh, how it hurts. Help, help. But no one can hear him so far from the school. No one can see him tucked in the ditch like a bundle of washing. Nobody knows where I am. No one will rescue me. I'll be here forever, he moans. <gasps> Look at Mr. Clapper. He's fallen into the ditch. And then he hears the best sound in the world. Trit, trot, trit, trot. Chomp, sniff, chomp. Swish, swoosh, swish, swoosh. Flip, flop, flip, flop. Hee ha, hee ha. Something warm and wet nuzzles Mr. Clapper's ear. Something as trickly as feathers stroke his chin. Coconut, you're going to save me. Nice coconut, kind coconut. Coconut lowers her head and Mr. Clapper heaves himself onto her back and they trot slowly over the meadow. There he is on her back. Mrs. Pye wraps Mr. Clapper's foot in bandage and gives him a cup of hot, sweet tea. How clever of Coconut to find you, she says. How did she know you were there? But Coconut just nods and nuzzles the grass. The children stroke her rough brown back. You're the best donkey in the world, they say. Yes, Coconut comes to school every day. Hee haw, hee haw. She calls as she trots through the Blue Bell Woods. And Mr. Clapper smiles at the children. Coconut's coming, he says. The end. Wow, little gym kids. I had so much fun reading that story with you. Well, stay tuned because next week we're going to have a different story. And I know that you're going to need to get to bed nice and early to have extra energy to work on those videos with either Teacher Wes, Teacher Levi, Teacher Monique, Teacher Serena or Teacher Anika. So stay tuned for those videos because they're released every Monday and our bedtime stories are released every Wednesday. Have some sweet dreams, little gym kids, and I'll see you next week.